Bro, I'm trying to go to sleep. Today is the first day of work for Oscar, and she's very excited. No, no tra. Hoy no trabajo. No trabajo mañana. Every morning, he tells me if I'm gonna go to work. Oh my god, bro. No, no voy a trabajar. And don't ask. He says something. I was like, I'm like, what the? I'm like, you sound just like my mom. Bruno sounds exactly like a Hispanic mom. And if I'm not already up by like 7.30 in the morning, he's over there already by the door trying to open it. He's very sassy, just like my mom. Where do you think you going? Hey, Bruno! But his first 10 years with me, he didn't like me. My mom has always wanted a parrot. And ever since he's been part of the family, he would just always be with my mom. Yeah, yeah. If she's cutting fruits or vegetables, he's right next to her. If she's on the phone, he's there just listening to her. He ended up just picking a lot of personality traits from her. You want it? You want it? And he didn't like my brother, my dad, or myself. Bro, bro come on. Sheesh. At least say que. If you can say que, by all means, you probably make my day, make my whole life. And so during the pandemic, I was home more often than my mom. And then one day I would hear my mom's voice. I'm like, ma, and no response. Why isn't my mom at work? I get up and I see that she's not home. So I go to Broome and it sounded just like my mom. <laughs> Now, as soon as I come home, he gets very talkative. He's always asking me if I'm gonna go shower. It's four o'clock, you should go to work. He's like a guardian. He cares about me a lot. That's when I realized, hey, I think he's starting to like me more than you. Yes, sir. He's always looking around, just making sure that my surroundings are safe. He's throwing wings and beaks. He always wants me to give me neck rubs. Look how close this man gets. At this point in life, we do have that bond that I've always wanted. Hi, Oscar. Hi, babe. Oscar has three different voices. One is almost like Goofy. I love you. Aww. Then she has this robotic voice. What's your problem? <laughs> then someday she's a teenage girl. Oscar had a few different homes before me. Are you looking at your boxes? Because she's had so many past lives, she's heard a lot of different things. Most of the homes that she was in weren't very positive. The one family went through a divorce, so she'll tell me, take everything, take it all. Then she'll be like, I remember the password. What? I should remember the password. One of her old owners got into some health issues. She didn't have a lot of feathers on her chest because she had a lot of anxiety. She was about 20 years old. So he asked me if I would adopt her. When I met her, we clicked instantly. She has a car seat beside me, so we usually dance and listen to music. She gets so excited. If I'm having a bad day, she will hug me. I will put her on my left arm and she likes to put her head right on my heart. Our bond is a forever bond. I can't imagine my life without her.